Stoke-on-Trent, a magical valley in Staffordshire, where clay and coal has lain side by side for centuries. The crucible which led to the creation of the incredible English pottery industry. A land of boundless artistic possibility where the toil of our forefathers made the dreams of the great pottery manufacturers come true, sending its wares of unequal beauty and diversity all over the world. Burley was founded as a family business in 1851 by William Lee, a fearless visionary whose dynamic energy in the face of deep recession brought about the building of the famous Middleport Pottery in 1888. From the vast spread of his new empire, an international market flourished, and over five generations, Burleyware led the world. From Calcutta to New York, buyers simply couldn't get enough of it. From stylish gilded dinnerware to the excellence and simplicity of their transfer printed ware, Burley was unrivalled in its diversity. And during the 1930s, success was further handed to them on a plate when their startling hand-painted Art Deco flower jugs took the world by storm. Burley ware was here to stay. Burley has a rich heritage of design and craftsmanship with a global reputation since 1851. Generation after generation has produced beautiful earthenware from our fine Victorian buildings. Through the large factory gates, horses and carts never cease to deliver materials and collect the finished wares. Barges arrive daily at the back of the factory to deliver clay from southwest England and to load the baskets of ware packed in straw, turning left for London and right for America. This pottery led the field in export at the turn of the 20th century. We process our clay on original machinery from the raw ingredients of ball clay, china clay, flint and felspar. We believe this gives us a special control in the fine quality of our earthenware product. At Burley, we have a treasure of archive moulds from the 18th and 19th centuries, found covered in layers of dust. We are reintroducing these shapes today. Now it's time to turn to the potter's shops, as they're called, and see how the work's carried on by the craftsmen who shape the clay, jollying bowls and jigging plates, slip-casting pitchers and fettling spouts. And I remember stopping by the way To watch the potter thumping his wet clay And with its all obliterated tongue It murmured, gently brother, gently pray The clay is fired to 1160 degrees centigrade making it into biscuit ware at Burley, our speciality is underglazed transfer printing. This labour-intensive method has been in use for over 250 years. We're now one of the very few potteries who still continue this tradition and highly skilled hand-decorating process. A pattern is engraved on copper. The printer prints the pattern onto tissue paper. The transferers carefully cut the tissue and apply it to the wear. It is then rubbed on with soft soap. The tissue paper is finally washed off, leaving the pattern on the biscuit ware. It is then fired, dipped in glaze and fired again, leaving the transfer print under the glaze, ensuring that the pattern will never fade. Because this decorating process is a handcraft, each piece is unique and variations occur which add to the charm of the product. We believe that in this age of transitory mass-produced machine products, it is reassuring that this skill survives and the product is highly sought after. Out of original Victorian buildings, the clay is moulded, shaped and decorated to produce works of art. Cups and saucers, plates and teapots rush like magic out of the clay. May the ovens never grow cold. May Stoke-on-Trent, the pottery town, still continue to be the heart of British craftsmanship. We are proud to still make a unique and beautiful English product in the 21st century. Burley's motto is, from clay to cup, pure English. 
Our ceramic heritage is unequalled in the world. That creativity is still here, and the magic is still in the hands of the people.